we start. Dividing perennials. So today we're talking about dividing perennials and how you can extend what you have in your garden. So this is really fun. This is something we need to do in the spring. You want to do it when it's cool out and right now is perfect because we're going to have the rain coming. So that is number one. So do not divide. I have a list here. It's so easy to get online. If you have a particular flower and you're not sure whether you can divide it or not, I'm not gonna bore you with why this root structure doesn't do well dividing, but there are some perennials that you don't want to divide. Okay, so divide the rhizomes in tuber score. Here we have a list. I'm gonna go to the next, and I'm gonna show you hostas and daylilies. I brought daylilies, and these are so fun to divide. So I dug these up from my garden this morning. And what I love about these, clear off the dirt, make sure you keep the root structure in place, that is so important. But look, they just come apart. Now, if you have a bigger clump than this, you can do it with a spade. Imagine this is a lot bigger. Imagine this is a lot bigger. <laughs> and you have a bigger plant and you just get in there and you pull it apart, look, you have not hurt anything. This is amazing. This works for rhizomes and tubers. Okay, so next, divide by hand. I have a list here. And one of them is lamb's ear. So I went ahead and pulled this from my garden. So you will find some of these, when you pull them up, it actually, you would have thought when it was in the ground that this would have been the strong point of the plant. Dig it up, clean it off. The roots are actually over here and all you have to do is just take and pull it apart. And if you need to, you can take a serrated knife, imagine bigger plant, imagine bigger knife, and just cut it apart. Now you have two plants, okay? So super cool. Divide with a pitchfork or spade. We're going to do iris. So here we have iris. Again, it's similar to the daylilies, but the tubers stay closer together. Thank you for getting closer. So I'm actually getting this apart. But if you find you get to a point where you can't. It's a workout. It is. It's a workout. But it's so fun because you are doubling the amount of plants you have. Okay? So a lot of people don't realize this is what's in the ground and you can just pull them apart. If you get to a point and you have a big tuber like this, you can actually cut through it with a large serrated knife and plant this part of the plant as well. But for beginners, I would pull them apart with a pitchfork or a spade, okay? I'll go at least four inches around the plant because you may see the plant here in the ground. That's what you're seeing. But the root system, they call it a drip line, but it goes out beyond the plant. So you wanna come out at least four to six inches so that you get all of these wonderful feeder roots when you pull it out. Okay, so do not just go straight down. Oh, water your plant before digging up. Makes it so much easier. Makes it where you're able to get up this lovely root system. Let the roots be your guide and keep the healthiest parts. So roots are everything. Let's just put it that way. Roots, if you take care of your roots and nourish your roots, your plant will take care of itself. So someone told me that out in the audience said thank you and that's a great way to put it. Nourish your roots, take care of your roots and the plant will take care of itself. This is the important part. Oh, I like to put in my hole once I dig out the plants and I call it, it's like black gold and that is your compost. That's another lesson, another day, but you can buy pre-made compost or you can make your own. I suggest making your own. There's so much we put in the trash that really should have just gone in our compost pile. It's really easy. I will do a blog on that next. Okay, spread out your divisions to give the roots plenty of room to settle. Again, the root is the most important part of the plant. So you wanna make sure that you're not putting them so close together 
that the roots are just going to be fighting each other again. You want to make sure that they have room to grow. Is this fun? I hope this is fun. I hope you guys get out there and divide your garden. So this hosta hedge here and this liriope hedge here, the grasses, both of those are clients of mine gardens. Both of those are something that we wanted to do with the plants that were thickening up. We didn't want to toss them, so we just started dividing. So have fun dividing your plants. Have fun extending your gardens. Don't think you need to go out and buy new every time. Enjoy what you have, and I wish you good luck. Thank you. You're so nice, and how can they find you on social media? Uh, I have, I'm on Instagram, it's Sara Anton, S-A-R-A-A-N-T-I-N. I am, uh, go there, and th from there you can go to my Facebook page, and you can find, uh, my website is GardenStyleOnline.com. That's GardenStyleOnline.com. I do great blogs on things you can do in your own garden. We love you. You're Thank amazing. You.